Hi, I'm Faith. And I'm Nasa. And this is Go Go Ladies. Ladies. A podcast about navigating life, love, and so much more from a 40 plus perspective. Come and talk to me. I really want to meet you, girl. I really want to know your name. Just because we have a studio, don't mean you're in the studio. <laughs> Rhea? Oh! <laughs> See? <laughs> really? Okay, look. We change platforms, and this fool's still act fool? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it's what great. we do. That's great. She's been singing during the whole setup, though. She is, though. Yeah. Right. Yes. And you know I'm serious. I gotta focus. I know, y'all. Mm-hmm. Nasa's about to cuss me. <laughs> She's not. Like it would it wouldn't be Nasa if she wasn't about to cuss me at least twice a day. That is true. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. That That's is how true. You love me. That is true. That's true. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, people, we are back. We're back on our set. This is actually the second episode what on up? our new set. So I what hope up, you're yo? enjoying the new visuals. Yeah. And it's not just me and Faith this time. Boop, 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 boop. Ow. We have an amazing guest. We do. It's a friend of the pod. Friend. Um, if you watch season two, which I know you did, because why wouldn't you watch season two? Duh. We have Miss Rhea Daniels, chief style curator of Paper Doll Factory. Ew. Now look, she done look. flew all the way from Portland to be here on this set. So yes, I'm, I did. I'm happy. So thank you guys so much for the invitation. Yes. The set is magnificent. Oh. I'm glad you like it. I see you ladies. You guys have been doing a marvelous job. Thank, Thank you. you. It's marvelous. 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 So true. Okay, I would you be about to cry if I was a motive. You would? <laughs> you know I would be. Can I point out we're wearing? Yes. Okay. Oh, factory? yes. Thank you. Uh-huh. Mm. Fabulousness. Mm. Bam. Statement pieces for statement makers. Oh, come mm. on, tag line. Felt that in my shine. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Praise him. Oh, wow. So, look, um, <laughs> what have we been up to? I mean, it's the new year. It's the new year. You're trying to go after new goals. Yes. yes. Um, new mercies. Oh, look. Oh. Amen. <laughs> Holy. Okay. Sorry. Okay, y'all, we do tape on Sundays at the church. So, okay, okay. This is what it is. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. You know. It's, you know, righteous and a ratchet. little ratchet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it's, definitely us. It's yeah. a remix. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah. We're, we're multifaceted. Hello. Mm. That's not the same. We're multifaceted. Yes. So, okay. We're, We're talk- fresh into the new year. Yes. Yes. Okay. New resolutions. Mm-hmm. New goals. Got to have some new year, new style, right? Ooh. Absolutely. Now, look, this is where you come in because right. you, you got to get me together. We've had personal <laughs> conversations offline yeah, yeah. about her trying to get me together, and she's vetoed many of my ideas for the new year. Thank you. Yeah. All in love. <laughs> Veto. Thank you. I was like, I'm going to do this. She was like, no, you're not. I'm like, hmm. I don't feel that was really loving. <laughs> Are your colors but it was still the same? That's what I want to know. But it was helpful. It was yes. helpful, right? Yes. You're very helpful. No, right? I'm, I'm thinking about changing my colors. I'm thinking about expanding my color scheme. Wonderful. You know, I'm all about color. Yeah. Clearly. Y'all want to know what I'm thinking about? Clearly. Okay, tell us. Okay, go. This color. So, I normally do my <laughs> color scheme. I do black. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then I did navy and green. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was my whole author color scheme. I felt that it gave the gravitas so that, you know, and I look good in those colors. Mm-hmm. No matter what color my hair might be, navy looks good on me when I'm blonde or when I have dark hair. Come on. Okay. I thought about that. Okay. okay. And so, but because of, uh, you know, go ladies. Yes. And how we are trying to do just more in yes. this space. Yes. Then I'm thinking about what Mignon Francois said. Okay. Um, she's the um, owner of the Cupcake Collection here in town. Okay. Black woman, amazing Delicious uh, business cupcakes. person. Has an amazing testimony. Yeah. Um, but she said, we, I assumed orange was her favorite color. Okay. Because whenever you see her, she, she oh, has yeah. orange with yes. her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she was like, I don't even like orange. Mm-mm. But it's the brand. So whenever you see orange, you're going to think of them sweet potato cupcakes. Which I said, you're right. And they right, too. Mm-hmm. 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 But so I'm trying to incorporate more of these pinks and these colors into my wardrobe, which you know I have none right now. Right, right. So right. Um, yeah. I'm trying to do that. So Yep. I think it's super important to really define your brand mm-hmm. and then figure out how you can incorporate those pieces, those color schemes, where you feel comfortable, where you feel safe. And mm-hmm. where you feel empowered, exactly. right? So a lot of people are like, ooh, I don't like pink. Okay, there's a pink for everyone. There's a blue right. for everyone. Yeah. There's a yellow for everyone. There's a red for everyone. There's a yellow for everybody? Everybody. Yeah. Right. You just have to take a look at okay. your there's undertones. Shit. Are yes. you cool? Are you warm? Are you okay. neutral? Right. There is a color along that spectrum mm-hmm. for everybody. Mm-hmm. And you just have to yeah. figure out That's a good point. what that is mm-hmm. and then incorporate that into your wardrobe. 
Okay. Like, I don't wear yellow because I think I look good in yellow. When you're yellow, you can't wear too much yellow. That's what I was always Oh, my God. Me, too. <laughs> That's what but I was It depends on the shade. <laughs> I feel like people, like, would ask me, like, what my favorite color is. Right. I say all of them, believe it or not. Okay. And it's not based like on color. what I wear. I, li- I do like color, but I sure. said it just depends on the shade. So I don't have, like, a specific. I'm like, I like all the colors, but it just depends on the shade. Depends on the I shade. I like navy. You do like navy. I wear black. a lot of black. Y'all know that. We both like black. Yes. Right. I like black hoodies uh, <laughs> you do in and particular people mm-hmm. talk about yeah i think for wearing them but yeah. what about like okay so well, everybody has those outfits that they're just their default outfits okay you know like i know that i'm gonna throw on some leggings and a hoodie yeah. or a t-shirt that's yeah. kind of like what i feel the most comfortable in physically mm-hmm. okay. you know right mm-hmm. but then when i try to go outside mm-hmm. you know especially in 2023 i'm trying to you know be outside a little bit more be outside you know be outside a little bit socialize more socialize a bit you know mm-hmm. <laughs> And I'm trying to get over the pandemic laziness. Okay, right? sure. Yes. Absolutely. Because there have been many times you're like, I'm in drawers and a t-shirt. I got to go outside. Like, I can put real clothes on. So, I'm trying to get over that. Okay. So, um, Yes, I have several clients that are, it's like we're starting over. Yes. Mm-hmm. We're starting mm-hmm. over with the shoe. The yes. heel from a one inch Come to, on, a two inch to, a three, <laughs> to a three inch to a four inch. Right. And recovery. it's like you have to like work your way mm. back to. Yes. And even if you weren't there before, where you need to be. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Because what style is really all about is taking up mental real estate in other people's minds Mm -hmm. so when random people stop you or see you from across the room they say who is that Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. and then you can say i'm the co-host of go ladies podcast this is what i do x y and z and now you've got the brown uh, the brand colors on so now people are going to associate you know what i know someone who does podcasts yeah so you're going to be that Mm go-to in their mental rolodex of oh i want to start a podcast or i know someone who may need to be interviewed and now you're going to expand your social circle. So it's like your presence is powerful. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people discount that, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Right? So you have to have your pitch, your business, you know, your business plan together, but when you go into a bank, yeah. when you go in to find um, angel investors, you have to look like mm-hmm. you know where your business yeah. is going. Yeah. Where they feel like it's a privilege for them. Mhm. To invest in your business, not look like you need the money, right? Right, okay. Okay. right. And like you're barely making it, or you know, struggling. Yeah, you don't want to have that visual, right? Yeah, because right. people don't want that. People want to be part of a winning team. Yeah. So if you got the winning business plan, you got the pitch, yes. right? You got the story, yeah. you got your communications plan, and then you show up mm-hmm. owning, mm-hmm. right? That mm-hmm. brand, that presence. Yes. You find yourself um, with more people supporting you. Okay. And that's really super important. You, yeah. can't do any, you can't do any of this magic by yourself. Yo, it takes a village. That right? is true. Mm-hmm. I just heard, I was just watching this show, Sex Lives of College Girls. I love that show. Right. Okay. <laughs> and there was an episode where like there's a wealthy girl on there, mm-hmm. um, and she tells her roommate who needs a loan. Okay. Like she dresses her because she was like, "Where are you going in that?" And she was like, "Oh, I'm going to try to get this loan." She was like, "No, you have to, in order to get money, you have to look like you have money." Is what she said. Those are her words. So yep. you saying that mm-hmm. is, yeah, spot on. She said that, and she dressed her and zhuzhed her up, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we can absolutely help you." Like, right? You just look, look like you have the collateral. Yeah. You look like you got the presence. Yeah, you got, like you got the plan. Yeah, and that true. is a wow. it's a very powerful tool. A lot, a lot yeah. of us don't use. Yeah, yeah. That. not misuse. Okay. So I just don't, don't know, use. They but think yeah, about, yeah. yeah. About yeah. Like, hey, this is the magic that I do. I am an amazing mm-hmm. accountant, X, Y, and Z. But if you want to expand and scale, mm-hmm. it's going to take yeah. lots of other people that are going to have to buy into your yeah. storyboard. Yeah. And to do that, your presence is part of your brand, right? It's super okay. important. Okay. Now, okay. Look, look. You know, I like to be comfortable. You do? And <laughs> in December, yes. okay. there was a party we were all at. Yes. Okay, yes. And you're known... For statement pieces. Remember that mm-hmm. dress? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, she, always, you stood out yeah. in a good way. Right. Okay. <laughs> you carry off big pieces like that. Yeah. Effortlessly. If I put it on, I like Big Bird walking around. like cause I, Because <laughs> I don't, that's not my style. Right, right, so when right, I put right. it on, I feel like, like it's a costume, you know? Mm, okay. Like I was going on stage costume. and playing somebody that's different. But I can't right, play right. Mesa in yeah. that outfit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. So... Talk about walking into a room, people noticing that you're powerful, noticing you. Mm-hmm. How can you be classic or whatever your style is, true to that, mm-hmm. without being all, you know, just like boom, grandio- bam. Like yeah, grandiose, grand- right? Exactly, grandiose. grandiose. Right, so so a lot of that is 
self-awareness. Yeah. So is it, I like this or I put this on and I feel safe Mm -hmm. or do I put this on and it, you know, it accentuates my silhouette. Mm -hmm. Like what is it that you're trying to accomplish Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in that particular setting? I know a lot of people that were in the room, you know, for instance, known them for a long time, but there was also probably thousands of other people that were in that space. There were. Yeah. That was a big space. Right. Big space. Yeah. Right. So once again, it's like, I'm going to go there. I'm going to meet the people or reconnect with the people that Mm -hmm. I already know. Hey, what's going on? Blah, 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 blah. Reconnect. Right. And then it's also an opportunity for me to meet new people. Yeah. Right. New people. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know the people. They don't know me, but. God puts us all together Mm -hmm. in a space, and it's like you need to leverage that network, right? Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, I'm kind of in between an extrovert and an introvert. I'm an extrovert when when I have to be. be. Right. My song come on. (laughs) My song come on. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Right. It's like a moment. But anyway, yes. Yes. But absolutely. So I'm kind of in between. So for me, making sure that I come in a room with a yellow dress on or an orange dress on mm-hmm. or a purple mm-hmm. dress on, when I know that most people are going to have black on, yeah. X, mm. Y, and Z, it allows people to see me mm-hmm. and speak to me first. See, mm. people don't think about that. Mm. So now we're having an organic conversation, yeah. not what do you do, what right. zip code do right. you live in, blah, yeah. blah, blah. It's right. not about that. It's, ooh, I love your earrings. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I love your shoes. Yeah. Ooh, I love your purse. So now we're having an organic mm-hmm. conversation. Right. And then it makes it easier for me to talk about, hey, my name is Rio Daniels. This is what I do. Paper Doll Factory. Yeah. You love my earrings. Got plenty of people around here mm-hmm. in this particular party yeah. that were repping, and I appreciate y'all. Yes. <laughs> yes. Y'all so much. Gang, gang. And y'all looked amazing, too, of oh, course. Thank right? you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. So thank you. So, yes. So it made it easier for me mm-hmm. to talk about what I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like I sold the dream before I even spoke to him. Come on, Dre. I came into the space. Yeah. You did. You did. Because everybody's like, who that? With this dress mm-hmm. on. And I'm like, okay. And let me say, it's like a little event where people didn't have on dresses. People right. had on clothes. Yes. And they were looking very they nice. They were looking good. Yes, they were nice. Dressed. Yes, they were. But in a room full of sequins. Yes. And velvet suits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your dress it used was to totally have. different. Yeah. Yep. It, it was, was totally very different. different. And it was on purpose. Mm. It was on purpose. So you have to be intentional. Yes, just like you're I'm going to stand out next year. I'm be sniffing up and kiss my damn self next year. <laughs> do what you need to do. do We're going to plan early for next year, though. Girl, please we, do. Yeah. Because uh-uh. it's important. End up in the, it was know. a mad dash to the end. Yes. <laughs> it yes. was. No, it was good. Like I said, it was great. But it's super important, I think. Yeah. Just like you plan your career mm-hmm. path, you put time and energy mm-hmm. into your LinkedIn profile yeah. or whoever you're going to hire for your resume. That's so much work. Right. It is. Right. But usually mm-hmm. you hire someone to help you mm-hmm. that's true mm-hmm. that's where that's the true. personal stylist yeah. can curate a wardrobe for you where it's uniforms mm-hmm. where you know i put this a b and yeah. c together yeah. and i know i look good and i feel good and i'm taking up mental real estate in the people that i'm interacting with mm-hmm. okay yeah mm-hmm. super exciting so i've seen your closet okay it's a little it's a it's a death trap oh it's it's okay. extensive it is it's extensive yeah. It is. It's almost at the store. It's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. A I, brand probably, I, right, yeah. I probably have yeah. about short of 300 pair of shoes. Boots. Okay. Amanda sneakers. Marcos. Heels. Mm-hmm. Boots with the fur. Boots with you the fur. You had them on yesterday. <laughs> I had them on yesterday. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. absolutely. 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 So for me, that's just, I guess, how I'm wired. It's like the shoes is how I start my outfit. Okay. I pick the shoes first, and then I say, now what am I going to do? Are okay. my shoes extra sparkly? Are they extra puffy? They have extra things going on that I'm just going to wear a simple silhouette mm-hmm. so that people can focus on, oh, her shoes are dope, mm-hmm. right? Or I got feathers on, right, around my face. So now they're going to look at my face. Yeah. If you have a cutout, let's say in a dress or an mm-hmm. outfit, that mm-hmm. is what people are going to focus on. Wherever the skin is. Right, mm. wherever that energy, that little fringe, that little uh uh, Big boobs. that's where people are going to be focused. <laughs> yours are, yours are not the silver. They are today. Yeah, they exactly. Are. Like I say, that's where people are going to focus. So just be mindful of that. So a lot of times people have on, oh, this is a beautiful dress or it's a mini skirt. So if I wear a mini dress, mm. I make sure it's long sleeve mm-hmm. and a turtleneck yeah. because of what I want you to focus on. Yeah. It's my legs. legs. So to me, I'm going to wear that when I go to a function and I'm thinking there's some single men. Come on, man. Some possibilities there. So I'm not going to wear that. Possibility, like space some possibilities. Some right? possibilities. Right? Right. Because yes. that's what I want people to focus yeah. on yeah. in that space. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I'm just going to brunch, I'm not going to wear that right. with my girlfriends. Right. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Doing, yeah. doing too much. We're doing right. too much, right? Mm-hmm. So just like I said, just being mindful and kind of curating the uniforms of your life. Oh. 
Uniform. So then you just I see y'all put these gems in this right. thing. Right, hello. <laughs> uniforms Hashtag are your life. Uniforms, uniforms of your of life. life. Right, there's, you know, you have so many different facets. You, yeah. You're a communication specialist. You do this, mm-hmm, you do that. Mm-hmm. You show up for your sorority, right? Yeah. You mm-hmm. show yeah. up for your family. You show up for your friends. You do yeah. all of these things. Yeah. You've got your own pod- podcast, right? Your own hey. individual ventures. It's like <laughs> you need to really think about how you show up. Mm-hmm. In those moments, because it's very, the moments that matter to you, right? The yeah, moments that matter to you. We are not doing the same exact things, but it's like um, even with work, for instance, a lot of people are like, "Hey, in the new year, I'd like to have a new job." Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. Sounds great. Write it down. Got it on my refrigerator. This is what I'm doing. What exactly are you going to do to prepare yourself? In order to get the job that yeah. you right. want, right? Yeah. Right. You're gonna work on your resume, mm-hmm. you're gonna do whatever on LinkedIn. You may practice with your friends for interviews. Right. But then, what else are you gonna do? Are you gonna show up at your job looking like mm. you should be promoted? Mm-hmm. That would be a wise idea because yeah. people can see you in yeah. the position yes. in which right. you're trying to ascend. That right? makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So it's like you have to dress for the job that you want. Yeah, I, heard that, I really. think now more than ever. I mm-hmm. mean, look, the past what five, ten years with IG, social yeah. media, sure. the explosion of that. There mm-hmm. is a your brand and your visual aspect matters more than ever. I think, I think right, it always right. mattered, right? Yes. But just now more than ever, just because of how visual we've all become mm-hmm. and how curated our lives have become, you know. Yeah. And I think the struggle that we all have is probably that balance between curated Mm -hmm. and authenticity right to make sure that you're not becoming a persona of yourself yeah and are truly yourself yeah Yeah. empty shell yeah Yeah. absolutely absolutely but i think a lot of that is like are you mature are you 22 Mm -hmm. and maybe you're just like this is fun to me Mm -hmm. you know i do whatever restaurant reviews x y z so maybe you're not thinking about it from a monetary standpoint Mm -hmm. at that point but as you continue to mature i think like you talked about curated it's just to me i would say thoughtful Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm thoughtfully mm-hmm. thinking about how I'm yeah. going to show up yeah. to this next event yeah. with these people or when I go on vacation. I have I need to take some time out mm-hmm. in order to curate some content. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Say, exactly. This is the storyboard, what's going on. This is what people want to know. How do you That's what you guys do, together? though. Yes. yes. You guys are thoughtful. Yeah. For you guys, it's a thoughtful process. Mm-hmm. For me, I have to say it's very much so curated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I think that like, Faith, obviously, is very comfortable on social media, right? I am. She's very comfortable on social media. Yes, yes great. She'll be Thank at you. the gym, head wrap, no makeup, and we'll get on the... I shall never yeah. okay. be yeah. on there <laughs> without with my, with my hair wrap. <laughs> No, I ain't doing that. Yeah. You know, and so that's just that's just how I am. Right, you know? right. Sure. Yeah. You are very fashionable. Yes. Mm. So when you're thinking about fashion, it's different. For me, because I am a t shirts and draws chick, they're <laughs> like literally, because pants are even an option right here. But, um, you know, like when I went on for Christmas okay. in LA, I thought about in advance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are the sweaters I'm taking. There will be some photo moments in LA. Right. Sure. So let me not default. To my norm, yeah, okay. yeah, and yeah. take it to the next level because mm-hmm. it's kind of that battle between who I am and who I want to be. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, yeah, and those aren't always the same right. thing, right? You know, and so as I'm trying to evolve mm-hmm. and get out of some you know ruts, then it's like okay, let me keep trying, but it's not like it's a yeah. organic, thoughtful thing. It's uh, definitely yeah. a, yeah. yes, it's yeah. definitely yeah. a yes. curated yeah. thing. It's, it, it is, but it's, it's work. Def- it's work. Yes. It's work yes. for you as opposed yes. to like this is but I fun. This, Even for this, this outfit, I was right? Like, I gotta get this outfit to match the set. <laughs> in a sense, I think you're both. You you right. have the thought. You you are okay. already, you're thinking. Mm-hmm. You know what will this look like on here? Yeah. And and we've talked about this. Like I'm, you know, based on the podcast and we were on Zoom and everything and. My black hoodies. Yes. Uh, but now I'm like shifting. I'm like, okay, I have to wear like real clothes. So I've like purchased some cute jogging suits. Uh, there you, go. <laughs> yes. you know, but like I, I'm thinking more about like, okay, what do yeah. you know, what should I wear and all that. See, you're trying to change that. I'm trying to actually bring that down. Like I, okay. I would love to come on camera one day without makeup. You know what I mean? Not, Can we do that? I ain't sure what's going to okay. happen. Okay, maybe mid year. Mid year, but you I know. would say do maybe, maybe do a segment that. about a black spa that's in Nashville and be like, we're here. That's true. So that'll make it yeah more organic for you. Like, yeah, I'm here that's to true. get a facial. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. As opposed to 
I'm just, I'm just looking at it. Hey, we want you to be comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And for me, it's not organic to be at the gym with makeup. Like, right. I, some chicks do, no yes, shade. Do. But right. I literally have worked out and I am sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the Monday motivation. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is what I'm doing, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I get what you're saying. Yes. And back to the whole practice post pandemic. Okay. I remember, I mean, you've known me for years. Yes, I have. So you've known, I mean, <laughs> I don't leave the house without makeup normally. Right. I was forever a face girl sure. and mm-hmm. go outside in the world. Yeah pandemic i didn't wear makeup mm-hmm. because i'm in the house all the time mm-hmm. right. so now i'm comfortable running errands yeah. okay. without makeup on okay yeah. uh-huh, you know fresh clean face get your skin you know let it breathe mm-hmm. whatever else mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but when it comes to being on camera oh for sure then i'm like Mm-mm. you know there's uh-huh. definitely times i know I, i'm even now i don't judge like nasa does but I, for me it is not organic I am True. not a lashes, full eye make like I, that's just not me. <laughs> right. I'll give you a lip. You've heard me okay. talk yes, about you it. You will give a lip. Get a little blush, but I'm not a. But you look amazing. Well, thank you. Exactly. Not, not, I don't think I look bad, but I'm just no. you know you are more intentional about. I mean, if you if those you together, I'd be like, um, girl, don't I know you, you would. You're very little honest. Little. You would. And you're very honest with you're me. Very- I mean, that's what, that's what friends are for. Right? Amen. My yes. job is to help elevate right. you. Yeah. That's, that's my it. job. Take this to the next level. Okay, because maybe you can't see what I see in yes. you. Mm. I see something, you don't see it. Mm. That's true. Let me that is true. inform that's true. you of yeah. what it should be. Like, y'all did see my blue dress okay. for mm. the December party. Yes. Because I was going to wear black, and they was like, blue. <laughs> blue. Like, blue. Basically. Yeah, basically. Mm. Okay. Basically, because it's warmer. It's just, mm. yeah. It allows yeah. people to feel... I had good booty in the dress. Let's be honest. Oh well, yeah. mm, that too. Mm, mm, yeah, I wasn't gonna say that. But. Y'all, y'all, y'all heard the story about the booty. yes, but like the co- yeah. like people don't think about that colors. Yeah, evoke emotions. That's true. They do. So you've got a warm hue on. Yeah, people are more warm. likely to come up to you. Yeah, cause okay. you know you be scaring people. I don't be scaring people. She has like she a little a look. She got a little edge like this. to her. Little edge. Somebody tell me green is now my color. I did that. get you look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Green. Well, thank you. No, they said it's now, not yeah. now my color. They're like, I think green is your color. You were old in like, it. Is it? Because I've never worn green like that. Yeah. yeah. No, Anyways. you look gorgeous. Well, thank so okay, you. we talked about blue. Sorry. Okay, go. So she talked about green. green. Okay. It's twenty twenty three. Yeah. Okay. What's on the horizon? Like, what colors are gonna be hot? Come on, Pantone. Okay. <laughs> Two <laughs> color palettes that you need to focus on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Purple. Hmm. Lilac. Really? Yes. Yes. Purples are good. There is a purple. And it's like you want to, a lot of people are like, ooh, purple is a little harsh or it's a little stoic. Maybe yeah. for some people, they're like, oh, you know, it uh, I invokes, think a church. It invokes really? the feeling of royalty. I think right? royalty. Yeah, I right? think that royalty kind of thing. Church, which is amazing. Right. But Royals? I'm like, maybe try a lighter hue okay. to incorporate. Okay. So maybe you got your little pantsuit that you feel fabulous okay. in from Ann Taylor. Ooh. Maybe think about a lilac top. Okay. Right? Okay. So easily incorporate yeah. it into what you already have so okay. purple is big yeah and we're gonna go rays of sunshine which is yellow yeah mm. people are coming for the yellow okay so we're gonna have to do our yellow right <laughs> that little light easter yellow the buttercup yellow so basically the breast i'm sorry go ahead <laughs> it is basically the breast <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's those the year are the of the Omega. The year of the Omegas. Yes, I mean purple. hello. <laughs> you said hello. If, look, if there's you one, get, like wait, right, wait. Right. Right. Purple and good. I like boots. I'm uh-huh. just throwing it out there. Look, you have yeah. not because your ass not. Well, <laughs> I like boots. <laughs> <laughs> That's you put the gold boots under That's my bed. Like, I like boots. Okay, got sorry, it. I got sidetracked. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> So those are the two colors. Okay. But for like motifs for style, fringe. Oh. Oh, you happy? You already, yeah. you already know. I'm happy about that. Style. I'm gonna do it anyway. You are. I'm gonna, really right. I'm gonna do it anyway. So fringe is in, and a western motif. We find ourselves here in Come Nashville. On, Nashville. Right. And a lot of people are like, ooh, there is a boot style for you. Mm. I like the western look, but I like it to be a little bit more modern and a little bit more chic as opposed to me actually being out right, on, right. The range on the range with animals, right? Right. That's not where I got going on, but western theme, fringe, feathers. Feathers. That's a whole wardrobe. You just you it, you with your you closet. making this up? <laughs> right. This is what's really no. You can like, you can just check it out in L magazine. <laughs> My whole wardrobe. Just right. Say that that. that. And I'll, I'll say an extra um, would be, and you mentioned it earlier, sports luxe. If I'm going to wear a jogging yes. suit, can I elevate it? 
Where he right. doesn't make me look like a 12 year old boy. Me seem like I'm trying to okay. exactly. live my youth. Thank- I'm in You're my present You're speaking to my self. soul now. I'm comfortable. Yes. But think about the fabric. So fleece is okay. not it. Fleece is not going to be. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Flattering right. to grown women in right, particular, right. right? So just think about the fabrics. Is it shiny? Is it a silk? Mm-hmm. Is it a light cashmere? Mm-hmm. Is it a light cotton? Maybe like mm-hmm. blend. Mm-hmm. And then think about your shoes. Sneaker, yeah. Sneaker games, you know. Mm-hmm. Is a I real thing, right? That. Is a real thing. It is. But and I think you can absolutely incorporate that and still look together. Yeah, that is right? true. Yeah. Still look together yeah. and you're comfortable, you feel safe. And if you needed to do, you know, some errands, yeah. you look like I purposely put this on and I am curated, as my friend would say, curated. Yes. yes. Sneaker though. Okay. Can we just put a pin in that? I need your help with okay, those. Go. So, I'm not a sneakerhead. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I wear Converse. I, have, I wear you, Nikes. You I got, you know, a couple other pairs, but yeah. you know, this that's what I wear. And yeah. I, I, they're black for the most part. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Rhea bought me some shoes. And I swear these are men catching shoes. I wear these shoes out and dudes know. be like, I like your shoes. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Like, right, and, and guess what? Just started an organic conversation. So right, does it feel yeah. weird? Yeah. Does it feel like I'm hitting it's your horn? Yes. Something I it's know. The it's yeah. the shoes. So now I gotta be a sneakerhead. It's gotta head. be the shoes. You do. I want to be a sneakerhead. Yes. I, I don't. Cause I, you don't. I not really. That's expensive. It's very. Expensive. No, that's what I'm saying. I know. <laughs> it's very expensive. So maybe I shouldn't it go is. that far. But yes. I do like, like I, yeah, I don't have 300 pairs of shoes. Another I'm friend of so the pod, Carrie, has a great sneaker game. Oh yes, she does. She got a great sneaker game. So yeah, so I want a not couple, even, but a couple. Not a, but not two. two like, I ain't going to through hundred. Okay, right. My closet can't accommodate. No, that. I'm that's, right. not, that's not my I'm, ministry. That's part of my <laughs> not resolution, but I'd like to do a little more in the new year. In the yeah. shoe game, get like, like a couple once again, pairs. That's something that men notice. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do. They but I was surprised do. at how much. I was like, oh. So they're not looking at our little booties or our heels, uh, right? Or just whatever, booties. right? I mean, I mean, maybe not that kind of booty, but you know the little booty shoes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, you, went too, you went too far. <laughs> Get it back together. But, but yes, <laughs> but seriously, that that is going to once again start a conversation because yeah. at homecoming, yeah. and you were walking around and you were like, okay, ten people have stopped me. Yep. And said, hey, I love your shoes. Yep. So that tells <laughs> the men something about you. She's beautiful, mm-hmm. and she's down to earth. Mm-hmm. So now I feel comfortable approaching her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's okay. not you know. Louis Vuittons. No. A lot of people are like, hey, I'm not going to talk to her because I can't afford it. I can't afford it or I don't. She have maintenance. Right. Yeah, yeah that's going true. On. Right. True. Mm-hmm. Even though those shoes, tennis shoes, may cost the same amount of money as your mm-hmm. Louis Vuitton. That is yeah. true. Yeah. But it just gives off a different air and a different feel. And okay. like I said, once again, you're at the party, we're outside, and you're comfortable. Yeah. Right? So you're not you're not stumbling or just like, oh, I got to stand in one place because I can't move. Right, mm-hmm. so it's like a win-win situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's conversation okay. starter. Because like I said, that's what Paper Doll Factory is about. The statement pieces. Right. The things that are going to make you stand out mm-hmm. and make people talk to you first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is the strategy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So look. What's look, up? What does Paper Doll Factory sell? Beyond styling, mm-hmm. beyond... Yes. You know, you come into people's houses and help them, you know, get their style brand together get and elevate it. Sure. You actually sell products. I do. So what products other than these lovely earrings? earrings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what else do you carry? So statement jewelry. So we've got rings, we've got bracelets, necklaces, earrings, if I had to say, would be our specialty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think eventually, maybe later this year, we'd like to branch into resort wear. So that people can have those comfortable, chic, okay, pliable wardrobe staples. Yeah. Mm. So as they're traveling the globe, yes. they can easily pair them with our statement pieces and curate a beautifully curated outfit. Mm-hmm. Okay. And clutches. Clutches. Yes. Handbags. Yes. And most of those come from India because I'm a fan of the beading, the mm-hmm. intricate beading. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because once again, um, I think it's super important to kind of... Think about where you're sourcing your products from. Yeah. Right. So the majority, I would say 90% of all of our products are sourced from um, women artisans cool. who hand make these materials yeah. for yeah. us, these products for us. So I think it's great because it's like a win-win situation. Mm-hmm. I'm able to support their communities. Of course. And then they lead their communities yeah. and take care yeah. of communities of people. Mm-hmm. And then we're able to share their kind of global view of what beauty is mm-hmm. with the rest of the globe. So it's yeah. a win-win situation. So, so it's like mean. giving back. You're looking cute and giving back. Hello. Hey. Yeah, that's Where a win-win. Where do you win-win. that at? Paper yeah. Doll Factory. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yes. yes. 
Where can we find her? Where oh, where can we find you? <laughs> oh, you can find me on <laughs> Facebook at yeah. Paper Doll Factory, Instagram at Paper Doll Factory, and of course on our website. Spell paper. Yeah. For the people. Yes. Oh. P A P I E R D O L L Factory dot com. And if you have Paper Doll Factory dot com. It'll pop up. Mm-hmm. It'll pop brother. up. Yes. It will. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna ask Faith because she's gonna mess this up. Okay. I'm, I'm, Where can you find <laughs> us? Go Ladies Podcast. You don't ever know. She On all the platforms where you listen to podcasts. And especially YouTube, Spotify. Apple Music, Google, Spotify, Anchor, In the World. I said all of them. And our socials. Our socials. We're on Instagram and Facebook. Go Ladies Podcast. You've been studying. You make me so sick. <laughs> I feel like I'm special. <laughs> Every episode, you go, Nasa, where can you find this? I do. I put it on Nasa. I her every time. Nasa, where is I was like, I don't think she knows. I'm like, we online. We online. We everywhere. I got it right. You did yes, get it right. You did. You I'm did. so proud of you. Yes. Yes. So, okay. thank you, ladies, so much for the invitation. Thank I you. I appreciate you guys so much. You're our first yes. guest on our set. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Beautiful set. Love you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. Right. People see you. We try. Yes. People see you. We try. They do. People see you. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. What's our to go? We have a to go. Yes. Yes. Rhea got dropped so many jewels and gems. You know what really stood out to me is okay. the "Do you feel safe?" Hmm. Yeah. Like, That's a good like, one. And so, and if you wouldn't mind, just kind of rehab. Like, what do you? What are your top three? But do you feel safe? Safe stood out to me. In your styling, so. you're like, do you are you comfortable? Do you feel safe? I don't know. I think it's a big one too for women. Yes. Yeah. I'm about to talk, look, we're about to get out the show. We and now are. Here we are. We back, back for safe? more. I'm that's, that's kind of my to yeah. go. But no. like, just think, what should you ask yourself? I would say mm-hmm. in styling, like your what are your top three for like your wardrobe? How should you feel? Does it emote? You know, right? Like you should feel comfortable because once again, we can put a fabulous outfit on someone yeah and they not be able to wear it mm-hmm. not right. be able to pull it off mm-hmm. look a mess and look uncomfortable yeah the outfit's right. wearing them they're not yeah. wearing it yeah. exactly so yeah. comfort is important so i'm right. not saying don't you know don't think about that right it is a factor but yeah. the other thing is color mm-hmm. figure that out mm-hmm. yeah right need help call paper doll factory we'd be glad to help you and figure out what your color palettes are yeah and then the other thing you want to think about is fit Mm, okay. Mm. okay everything that you buy from whatever store mm-hmm. might not fit perfectly off the rack right you might need to spend ten dollars to get those jeans hemmed mm-hmm. and or at the waist mm-hmm. taken in mm-hmm. so think about fit okay. that is a big thing I, I, I think a lot of people kind of neglect they just assume mm-hmm. that it says size eight on the rack it should fit uh-uh. me perfectly yeah, right yeah. but it's really made for the fit model mm-hmm. that individual person mm-hmm. who happened to be a size eight you may or may not have the same measurements, right? It's highly likely that you wouldn't yeah. right. necessarily, yeah. right? So fit. So you can be like, yes, this suit is beautiful. Oh, mm-hmm. but it gaps on the side. Spend the $10 to find yourself a good tailor mm-hmm. Got it. to get it together for you. Okay. And then that gives you some psychological safety as well because now you know it fits. Now you've done the extra work, right? right? And mm-hmm. now you've been with another professional who said this is how it's supposed to lay. Right. You're not mm-hmm. tugging at it. Right. Exactly. Okay. And it's because you've done that extra work, you're going to feel more safe. Thank you. Yes. Comfortable, color, fit. All that. That's yeah. the to go. That's the to go. Okay. Okay. All yes. right. Well, cool. Thank you so Thank much. You. I'm sure we'll, I'll be wearing PDFs all throughout the episodes because that's what we do. Appreciate and so, you so no. much. And I appreciate you taking the time. Like, I know that... When I had this vision, when we came together, vision, and you yeah. were like, yeah, I'll be a guest. And you said yes easily. And even coming over to be our first guest live on the set, yeah. you yeah. said yeah. no problem. Even like without seeing everything. So I appreciate it. Thank you. So thank no. you. I believe in you guys. Okay. Well, and bye. I, okay. Bye. I was going to cut you off. You cut I cut her off. off. I'm sorry. Okay, bye. I did. Bye. I'm bye. Sorry. It's okay. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>